So here we are, we've got another product. Mm. Excuse me. Yeah, we're going um, a little bit back to basics. Unigear have sent me um, a sleeping mat. Uh, this is the Comfy P3 sleeping mat. I've actually got my screen open next to you as well, just so I can see some information as I'm talking to you. Uh, this will retail at around the £60 mark, or the $60 mark I've got on the screen. Um, I'll convert it to pounds and put it on the screen for you, so you can see what it is. So you get this camping mat now. Uh, people that follow me from my landscape vlogography channel, um, you know, I've done a little bit of wild camping and stuff like that. And I, I normally use a very, very lightweight, a very small camping bag um, or a, a very, very small camping mat. Uh, this one's slightly different, um, slightly different to mine. This is a large, so it's a little bit bigger than the standard. I'm quite a chunky person, so I'm going to lay on it in a bit and uh, see what it works like and see what it feels like when I'm actually laying on it. These things are not the easiest thing to review, uh, to give you information about, in all fairness. Um, it's designed in such a way that um, it's got a concave design towards the top part of their body. Um, it's got a, like a wave design on the bottom part of the body. This is all to give you a decent sleep. And it's got a convex uh, truss plates in the middle. So your biggest torso, your heavy part, you know, your bum and your back and everything else, that should support your middle. So it's designed in a way to support you as you're laying flat. Um, so that's quite interesting, something a little bit different. Uh, this is a large, this is uh, 40, uh, 64 centimeters across. Uh, length is 196 centimeters, so it's for quite a tall person. Um, the regular, which is the other one, uh, is 64 centimeters across and 186 centimeters in length. I'm going to give you a package weight. Uh, the package weight is 0.96 kilograms, so it's just under a kilogram. That's 33.86 ounces. Um, that is for the regular. Uh, size looking at it on the screen and it's got a thickness of 6.35 centimeters um, that would be the depth I would have thought um, once it's all pumped up so yeah let's get this thing pumped up it's got temperature as well they're going to just run through this for you just on the screen uh, excuse me for not looking at you we've got um, it rates value from 0.5 to plus 4.5 in temperature so that means it will go, it's good for temperatures uh, 50 Fahrenheit down to minus, uh, minus zero Fahrenheit, which is minus 17 C. So it's, it's designed to use in a variety of temperatures by the looks of it. Um, so yeah, all, all going well, that should be good. So what, would, what do we get in the bag? The bag is very, very important. On the bottom of this bag, you'll see you've got a hole there. The hole is basically, and I know what it's for, it's, it's a pump. So as you pull this out the bag, uh, you get a little repair patch in there, so it's well worth keeping your repair patch um, just in case. The valve's on the top and it's it's nicely slipped together with these two little bands as well. So this is kept nice and tidy and nice and neat with these two little bands, which is handy. So don't lose them. They're handy to keep it all wrapped up. Uh, I know when you're trying to keep these things back in the bags, they're a pain to get back in the bag when you haven't got those. Yeah, the bag itself. Uh, so in the bag, you've got a double skin. So you can see there you've got a bag of a bag inside. Now the bag inside's got a big hole in the top and the bottom's got a small hole in the bottom. And what you basically do with this is you get as much air in it as you can, climp the top and then this becomes your blower to blow it up again. So as you fill it up with a bit of air, this is your blower and you can blow it up. So you don't have to pump it up by her mouth, you can actually use this bag to pump it up with. Um, I'm just gonna connect it to see how it works. So we pop the top open. We've got a one-way valve inside. Um, so the air should go in and not come out. And the idea is you push this into there. So it's not just gonna come out on its own. There we go, it's popped in. So it is a good fit. And then you basically fill this full of air. When you're outside in the open air, this is great. So you fill it full of air and then you pump it in. Fill it full of air, pump it in. Fill it full of air and pump it in and already you can see that it's blowing up these three out, you know, this bit here. So that little bit of air makes a lot of difference. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna chop you off of here. I'm gonna take you into my hallway and I'm gonna lay this on the floor in the hallway because I've not got room to do it in my little office. And uh, let's get it pumped up and see how long it takes. I'll set the timer up on my phone. I'll take my phone, we'll set the timer up, see how long this little bag indoors will pump this up 
I'm sure it'll take a little bit, you know, you'll be a bit a lot quicker outside. Um, the material feels really nice. The material is a 40D high tensile nylon fabric, uh, resulting in an excellent construction, reduced heat loss uh, and cold on the ground. So it's a, it's a, it's a 40D, which a 40D, I think I understand as quite a tough, quite a durable um, material. So yes, it, it does feel really, really nice. They do it in a blue and a green as well. I quite like the green, it's very blending in. Um, I think my firm arrest that I use is uh, a yellow, which is nice and bright. But yeah, let's go in the hallway and uh, let's see how long it takes to pump up. Right, welcome to my hallway. Um, I'm sure the volume changed a little bit. So I'm gonna roll this thing out and this is all real time. I like to do my reviews or my insights, very much a real time type of thing. And I don't mess around and I try and give you the exact truth. And I'm unveiling it as you can see in front of me. And this is all, um, I'm not hiding anything. That's basically, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm not hide. I don't hide anything when I do these reviews. So I've do plenty of reviews and stuff and products. So I please take a look at other ones. So yeah, it's rolled out quite nice. Like I said, this is quite a big thing. Let's get a stopwatch on the go on my watch. Let's start and we'll see how long it takes to pump up using this little bag and uh, see what happens. So start, let's go. So the tone's starting to change now as it's getting fuller and that to me feels like it's full up. And what I've been doing is just blowing into it really. Yep, the air's now stopping pumping going in so that's quite solid and tight. So we're gonna pull this out and like I see this, the valve's sealed. There is no air coming out of this whatsoever. It's solid and sealed. And then we just put our little retainer clip into there. There we go. Right, so that is now closed and the mat is fully pumped up brilliant idea because I'm not out of breath and I've know I've pumped these up before and you get totally out of breath so let's get on top of it I'm gonna use my knees and climb on it because I might as well keep it real and see what it's actually like when I actually lay down on it and feel what it's comfortable do you know what that's that feels really good but remember what I said I'm I'm quite tall so I've got extra room on my feet down here um, I can bounce up and down I can feel the floor a little bit but you know what it's really wide, it's really broad, so it feels quite nice. I just want to bring you down this end so I can talk to you. So welcome to the other end of my hallway. Um, yeah, it's, it's one, of those, one of those things and you really need to, you really need to take this out. You need to get it in the wilderness. You need to feel what it feels like actually out on the hill, but it's comfy. Now I'd say that fully pumped is a little bit too hard. So I can poke my finger in the end, a little bit of air out. Literally, let me just show you that. Oop, excuse me. So yeah, just literally pop the thing open, put my finger in there, let a bit of air out. Now it's a bit softer. There we go. Take a little bit of air out and then push your cap back in to stop it oh, from being knocked. So what does this feel like? Now I'm taking a little bit of air out. Oh, yes. Now I can feel the lumbar support. I can feel that support on my back. Um, I'm not a back sleeper, I'm more of a sideways sleeper, so I tend to sleep on my side. And again, you know, if you've got a nice pillow underneath your head, I'm a sideways sleeper. And you know what, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot of room for my legs as a sideways sleeper. As you can see, you can see there, I'm a sideways sleeper and I've got my knee out and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite comfortable on this as a sleeping mat. And my firm arrest is really thin and I struggle to sleep sideways on it. So yeah, the width, the width is good. Um, yeah, it's actually not bad. Do you know what else? Do you know what else I like about this? Now I'm rolling around on this and that is very quiet. That's a really quiet sleeping bag. Now, I've got sleeping mats, sorry. I've got, I've got other ones 
and they creak and crisp, you know, crispy and creaky. This is, this is really quiet. Now, my only downfall, or what, what I would what I would suggest as being a little bit of a, a not a flaw, um, but this is in the design, obviously, um, you can't change these things, is the weight. Everything needs to be as light as possible, I would say. Um, so yeah, being a, nearly a kilogram in weight for a sleeping mat is quite a lot. Um, so if you're walking a long, long way and you're like me, you're not the fittest of persons, that could be an issue. I think my firmer rest is a lot lighter. But for sleeping comfort and for the amount of, amount of room I've got on this, fantastic. Right, I think that's all I can do. Um, yeah, catch you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, good night. <laughs> God, this is definitely comfortable. Right, so I've had to wake up, haven't I? Of course I've got to get up. Um, I can't be laying there. I thought I'd better put it back in the bag. I just stood it back up to have a look at it. I just wanted to show, you know, the ridges uh, at the bottom and you've got the ridges at the top. The pillow area is slightly different and this lumbar support in the middle, which has definitely got a bit more thicker. Um, so I thought I'd better wake up and just show you that. And the other thing is I wanted to pack it back in the bag and see how well it goes back in the bag. So, yep, yeah, I've sort of extended the video slightly for you. So yeah, we pushed the top bit back in. So it now becomes a normal uh, packing bag. And of course you take the instructions off when you finish with it. So I'm gonna see how well I can get it back in the bag. So let me go and get them little black straps. We're gonna pump it down, pump it down, if that makes a sense. And then we are going to roll it up and get it back in that bag. Got me little black straps and uh, we need to take the plug out, which is in the end, like so. Take this out, put our finger in the end and let the air out. So let's get all this air out and see if we can get it back in this bag. So I folded it up into two. Let me show you what I'm doing. Oh, excuse me a moment. Right. So I've basically folded it up into two, just to let all the air out. And now once I've done that, I'm gonna roll it back out again. And I'm gonna fold it back the way it was folded before. So we have half going over. So we divide it into three. One, two, three. And as we go along, I used to pack paragliders by the way. It's random, isn't it? I used to fly a paragliders as well. Right, let's roll it up. Start in the bottom, roll it up, keep it tight. And as you go, just tuck the top bit in slightly and you'll find it rolls up really quite well. When you get there, keep your foot kneel on it, fold it again so you've got a nice pack of three. And we're gonna keep going, keep going. And this bit here, just tuck this bit in as we go. Tuck it in there. As we go, and you get to the end, look at that last bit of air coming out. And then what we'll do is we just make sure that little plug is poked back in. And then we're gonna put our little straps around like we said before, these are handy to keep. Little strap like that. And I've lost the other one. That will then fit in there quite nicely. Look at that. Beautiful drawstring. Zip it up tight. Nice and clean, nice and tidy. And back in its bag. So it does fit back in its bag. You know sometimes you unpack something, you cannot get them back in their bag. Yep, thank you to Uni Gear, they give you a bag big enough that you can actually get it back into. Job done. Now I'm definitely going. See you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>